Hi, this is John Thompson, the superintendent of the New Haven Unified School District. And today I am at Cyril's Elementary School with one of our board members, Mel Schwinn Mallory. And we are going to learn a little bit more about Trustee Mallory and I'll learn a little bit more about Cyril's as well. So here we go. We're outside uh, more than six feet apart. So we're taking our masks off, which is, feels really good. <laughs> so good afternoon, uh, Trustee Mallory. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Great. <laughs> We've got your 40 questions episode today. Are you ready to jump right into it? Sure. Excellent. So let's talk about you being a board member. So you've been a board member you uh, for it's almost a year now, right? Yes. One year. All right. And um, you before, well, currently I know board member being a board member doesn't exactly pay the bills. So what do you do when you are not being a board member? I'm a paralegal for one of the largest um, employers in the nation, and I start, I work in the employment law department. All right. Yeah, that certainly is probably much better uh, at helping uh, make ends meet than, than uh, the small amount you get for being a board member. Um, so why be a board member? What, what made you interested in running for this position? There's so many things that made me want to be a board member. Um, I taught music lessons uh, for about six years. And I taught uh, voice and piano privately. I was trying to get my credential, but never could. And so I, I wanted to be a teacher because <laughs> I love children, I love our kids, and I think they're our future. And so I feel like if we can get this right for them, then we can improve society as a whole. Um, so that's why. All right, great. So what's it like to run for office? It's really intense. Um, <laughs> Every waking hour you have that you're not at work or doing anything else um, is spent on your campaign because you want to talk to as many people as you can in a very short period of time. And of course you have to fundraise and you have to um, get your name out there and make sure people know what you're all about so they can make a, a an informed decision. And um, I did a lot of phone calling myself, which was awesome. I got to talk to lots of great people in our school district and hear their concerns and talk to them about solutions. All right. So you, we, you, you are elected by a certain part of our city. You want to talk about your a trustee area? Yes, I'm in trustee area two, which um, includes Dakota. I'm a proud resident of Dakota and it starts at Mission in Dakota. You go down Mission all the way to Alvarado Niles, and then you go over to Sherman Drive, and then it kind of makes an L shape um, to Railroad, and then it goes up north into South Hayward between uh, the BART tracks at Mission and stops at where Sonic is. All right, and we are here today at Cyril's, which is one of the schools in your area. Yes, so we've got, we've got Cyril's, I've got Hillview Crest, Logan High School, and the Dakota School, the Adult School, um, yeah. And then, you know, all the other schools too, of course, but this is the area that, uh, that yes. uh, you were elected to represent. All right. So did you always want to be a school board member? Um, I didn't think about running for office until about five years ago. So it wasn't in the plans. Right. <laughs> all right. Funny how life works like that. Yeah. Uh, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Uh, I wanted to be uh, an opera singer. All right. Well, and part of that came true, so yes. uh, that, yeah, that's that's cool. Um, what's the best part about being a board member? Um, the best part is our community. I love um, Union City, uh, New Haven, including South Hayward. It's just such a close-knit community, and everyone really cares about our kids. And, um, you know, I love the kids. I love seeing them learn and grow. I love visiting the high schools and the junior highs and seeing what the kids are doing there. So. It really is all about the kids. Great. How about the most difficult part about being a board member? Expulsions are very mm. difficult and hard decisions to make. Yep. Um, and, you know, just all, all the other things that we have to deal with that are negative, like COVID and, um, you know, things like that that are just hardships that we have to face together. Yep. That's very true. All right, well, we are at Cyril's here. There's been a lot of work done at Cyril's, and uh, maybe we can take a walk through and check out some of the cool things that have happened here. And I'll ask you a few other questions on the way. How's that sound? Sounds good. Let's All right, yep, time for the mask to go on. And people might watching might wonder why this background, it looks like an industrial area. Uh, well, it's 
this is actually part of the maker space at Cyril's right here. So students have access to this as part of their learning environment. And we'll kind of walk through um, the maker space to, so people can get an idea we'll walk through here. Before we start with the questions too, so in the maker space right now they have, we have a dental clinic coming on. So some of our students can get dental care and uh, that is pretty cool. Hey everybody. I know where to come if I need a root canal. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, as we're walking through campus, uh, let me ask you a few questions. So, uh, okay. coffee or tea? Ah. We'll go this way. Actually, why don't we go through here? Okay, coffee? Uh, pizza or Starbucks? Uh, hippies brew. Ah, hippies brew, right? <laughs> Local choice, okay. Chinese food or Mexican food? Uh, that's a really hard choice, but for my wife, I'll say Chinese food. Okay, chow mein or fried rice? Oh, we're locked. locked out. Okay. Then, oh, you know what? Yeah, I have a key. So we you have a through. key. Do you want to hold that? Yeah, hold that okay, for a second. Okay, I'm going to hold this go. for a second. Nice. All, All right, right stand so by. Uh, favorite pizza topping? Oh, olives. Okay. How about uh, steak or seafood? Steak. Favorite movie? Star Wars. Um, book you last read or are currently reading either one. Um, All right. I just finished Tiger's Daughter. Oops. All right, we're walking through here. Hey, everybody. Looks like people are taking the test, so we'll... This is part of our... Hola. This is part of our Spanish dual immersion program, and they're hard at work. All right, so let's see. As we're walking along here, this... Oh, this area is... This whole wing was completely redone. So you can see we have classroom doors that are whiteboards and they can be opened across from each other. So these classes can have uh, a class that works together and collaborates together. All these rooms are redone. Thank you, Measure M Bond voters. Appreciate it. All right. So uh, moving forward, uh, coloring with crayons or finger painting? Finger painting. All right. Favorite place to eat in Union City? Um, HK Top. For the next page here. Let's see. <laughs> Nerf guns or water balloons? Water balloons. How about superpower you want to have? Um, Hello. Um, try and travel. I don't know if that was my count as a superpower. Ooh, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, secret talent. Oh, I'm an opera singer. Yeah, so that was, uh, you wanted to be one and you became one. That's and pretty cool. And I became cool. one, yeah. It's not so right. secret. So all this school has been painted too, just in case anybody's wondering. It's a nice new paint job. Yeah, all right. Um, let's see, video games or board games? Um, board games. We're gonna walk over this way and kind of highlight one of the new areas of the campus too. Um, favorite hobby? Uh, well, besides singing, I like to crochet and uh, hike. Dream car? Oh, um, my dream car was a Ford Mustang convertible, Ooh. but since I've gotten older, I want a Toyota RAV4 Prime. All right, there you go. Uh, favorite band or type of music? Oh gosh, I like all kinds of music um, as a musician, so it's really hard, but I really like garbage. All right. Country you want to visit? Uh, Italy. Cruise or camping? Camping. Cats or dogs? Um, I slightly prefer dogs, but I love all animals and I have a lot of them. You have some chickens too, if I remember yeah, right I now. Yeah, I have three dogs, two cats, a bearded dragon, and four chickens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Um, let's see. Snow or sand? Uh, sand. And favorite article of clothing? Uh, my green leather jacket. Or it's, it's vegan leather. Oh, vegan leather jacket. Uh, skydiving, scuba diving? Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. Winter break or spring break? Um, winter break. PE or recess? Recess. Three things you can't live without. Three things like, well, air, water, and food. All right. Best <laughs> advice you'd give your teenage self? Uh, be yourself and don't be ashamed. How about the best kept secret in Union City? Our school district. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a hidden, I do think it's a gym. It really I agree is with a you. hidden gym, yeah. All right. Uh, what's one thing you might want to tell new families coming to our district? Uh, new Haven Unified School District, we really care about our families and children, and we are welcoming to all students. 
Um, everyone is included and it's a really great place to be. How about anything, one last thing you might want to say to students, families, or staff? Well, um, to our staff, I say thank you for being so amazing and caring about our children so much. And um, to the kids, I say have fun and be yourself and, and don't be afraid to, uh, you know, be who you are. And um, to our families, I would say get involved. You know, if you have any issues, talk to your principal. Come to the board meetings on Tuesdays. There's one tonight at 6.30. All right. I don't know when this will be posted, but today is Tuesday. The, uh, oh gosh, the 9th. The 9th, yeah. And so we'll have one tonight. Um, you can always uh, give any board member a call or an email. My cell phone is 510-936-1883. I just realized I had you in the in the sun and you know right behind you yeah. is our new drop-off area uh, at Cyril's as well so Cyril's parents take advantage of that uh, anyway I think we've covered all of my questions so okay. with that uh, thank you trustee Mallory we appreciate it and uh, that's a wrap